and then you can spec it up. The individualization options mean that they have taken orders for this car for over 200 grand. That's insane. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Land Rover Country. We are here in the Cotswolds for an on-road and off-road experience of the 2022 Range Rover. This is one of the most beautiful Cotswolds houses I think I've ever seen and it is the perfect place to start this video with all of the Range Rovers lined up outside. This house is the perfect blend of a classic modern luxurious Cotswolds house in the same way that Range Rover are attempting with their 2022 car to have that simplistic modern luxury but still having the iconic all-terrain rugged capabilities. Let's cast our minds back to 2013 which doesn't seem that long ago Until you remember what actually happened in 2013 in the automotive world, we had the launch of the LaFerrari 918 and P1. The Holy Trinity came out in 2013. In 2015, Bentley launched the Bentayga. Aston Martin launched the DBX in 2020. We've had the Rolls-Royce Cullinan. We've had the Audi RS Q8. And we have had the Lamborghini Urus. Now, these guys have got it all to do, dropping a car in 2022. And if you want to have a look at general pop culture, and if you want to feel really old, it was the year that the word selfie got introduced to the dictionary. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the interior of the all new 2022 Range Rover where I immediately don't feel like I fit in. I'm wearing a streetwear t-shirt. I've got tattoos all up and down my arms and legs. And the last person I saw driving a 2022 Range Rover was in the Daily Mail and it was the Queen. Now a driving day with Range Rover would not be complete without an off-roading section whilst we are in a little traffic jam. Let me show you the quality of these screens. And there's actually a curve around the dashboard on this central screen, but it is beautiful. So I'm gonna just get the electrics to run and show you how stupendous and almost Bentley-esque this screen infotainment system is and the haptic touch is beautiful every time you click it there is this vibration that gets fed back through the finger which in old cars that i've experienced haptics using aston martin as an example this is so much better and so much more modern luxury as range rover like to say with their 2022 model the only uh, um, downside to having everything touchscreen as you know is fingerprint marks get left everywhere but you can cycle through the menu and have so much fun and interesting graphics throughout that just add and emphasize the luxury that you get with this car and considering the price point I actually really like the way that they've been able to balance the touchscreen elements with having these touch and feel, just the volume button like that and being able to turn it up and turn it down is, is classic. I'll tell you what, one thing that I have noticed on the off-road course is the fact that the four-wheel steer is so efficient in such a big car. Now, six months ago, I did this exact course in a Defender 110. This car is even more capable than that. It is unbelievable going around 90 degree corners, even more aggressive angles, and you're going uphill, downhill, incline, decline. It is ridiculous. Whilst off-roading is not going to be the main point of this car for the majority of the customers, the fact that you can then utilize the four-wheel steer in and around the city and nimbleize this car, make it small and shrink around you, is a huge plus to the new Range Rover and instantly dates Range, Ro Range Rovers of old that don't have it. Now, as we continue into the depths of Jurassic Park, I am so at ease at the capabilities of this car. I don't even need to have any hands on the steering wheel. It is private land, so it doesn't really matter about that. But let me tell you about the first 24 hours that Land Rover had revealing the 2022 Range Rover, because the stats are mental. So for the first 24 hours, they sold one car every nine minutes, which equates to 160 cars in the first 24 hours. And with an average spec price of 125 grand, Land Rover made 20 million pound in the first 24 hours of revealing this car. And considering this is one of the first times they've launched online with online payment, that is ridiculous. Considering the last Range Rover was 2013, 
It is mind-boggling for Land Rover to experience that. And considering this car has been out for around six months now, they've taken over 10,000 orders with customer deliveries coming soon. It is safe to say this car is as ever popular as you can imagine from customers that love Land Rover and I can imagine new customers as well because the SUV market has expanded so much. I can imagine there are a lot of luxury car enthusiasts and owners that are jumping to the Range Rover for the first time because the interior is a massive step up. It is so luxurious and comfortable on the road. It is relaxing to be in. It's calm, it's comfortable. It ticks all of the boxes that you'd want from a 100,000 pound SUV. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. The combination of luxury and all terrain. This is the first time I've ever seen a car wash at the exit of an off-road so that when we go back on road, the Range Rover's looking sparkly and beautiful. The thing is, I always knew that I was going to be impressed by this car. I always knew this car was going to satisfy my expectations and I've thoroughly enjoyed putting miles on this car. I'm incredibly relaxed and I'm going to arrive at my end destination, jump back into my car, head down the M4. I would love to take this car home and I think that is the number one thing to take away from today. That if you are looking for a car that will just be so pleasurable to do any amount of miles in and you'll arrive at your destination and be as relaxed as you were when you jumped into the car to begin with at the beginning of the journey. I mean, goes to show that this car and Land Rover have done an incredible job thinking about the driver, thinking about the passengers and thinking about the experience that you will have on a journey and it is a, a, a really really nice place to be on and off-road. It was incredibly comfortable off-road as well and Land Rover just, just picking the best bits out of all of the luxury SUVs that I know and the best characteristics and folding them all together into the shape of this. Um, and then, considering the price point, very good value for money. And a really, really special car. And I cannot wait to see what Land Rover decide to do over the next nine years to see how they can continue to improve and evolve this car. But right now, I'm just gonna continue with the drive, enjoying it and listening to this phenomenal sound system. I'll see you soon guys, take care, goodbye, and I hope you've enjoyed the video.